How has AUEA influenced and promoted females in engineering? Well, I think that's something that we still have to like really focus on for the future because currently only 9% of engineers are actually female and we actually have one of the lowest amount of female engineers throughout Europe and something that we try to do is really engage um, our students into encouraging them into being engineers of the future. So something that we're doing is we're planning a big STEM event in April for all females to attend with their female relative, which is really positive. And you know, just celebrating and looking at all the different roles within engineering and getting some really positive role models into. And we try to meet every so often on a Friday and also the girls can talk to some of the older students in post 16 for you know support and help um, because it is sometimes very much a male dominated environment. How has society's view of women studying STEM subjects changed over the past decade? Well that's an interesting question because for me when I was at school I was someone that was you know naturally quite good at maths and science but it wasn't something that I was really encouraged to do and when we went to A levels out of the whole of our school which was a girls school there was only two that students that went into physics being included and making sure that you know they have all the same opportunities the boys and actually they're encouraged and sometimes you know that may seem that they're doing separate workshops and everything but that's to really encourage them and to focus them and get them involved in um, competitions and workshops where they can see other females in a similar light and that's really important for the future of you know the industry. How can the subject of history support the learning of engineering students? Well I think as a history teacher it's really important um, for me that we look at aspects of history that really embrace engineering so we've looked at the Ford motor car and we've looked at the assembly line We've also looked at you know, how things changed with, within industries and wars and also we looked at the female um, contribution to engineering as well because we looked at the bridge in London that was built um, by female engineers and that was a really important contribution to World War II. We also did a trip to Belgium and France to look at the battlefields of World War I and one of the things that we really noticed was about the engineering um, contribution to um, the military aspect, the, um, the war memorials and all that side of it and actually it's a, it's a really good subject that's linked together and that can really teach about the past and inform the future as well. So I'm very proud that we do history as a subject at this school. Thank you very much.